Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about the five tips to live by. So if you're in small business at all, or you just want to hang out, definitely stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com. You are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy the show. If you do, uh, there's hundreds of these episodes now. We've done them every single week now for almost six years. We're like one month shy of six years. Crazy. Go back and watch, listen. It's anywhere podcasts are found. Of course, 95% of everything comes through the podcast, of course, but you can also find it on YouTube. By the way, you can conversate if you're on YouTube. That's a fancy word. Um, if it's not your first time here, you know who you are. What's up? Some of you have listened to every episode. You've binged, you've watched, you've listened, and I really genuinely appreciate that. So thank you so much. Uh, if you didn't know, the shameless plug of the day, I'm a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. And I don't ever usually make this a salesy show, but... I would like to let you know that I put orders in. I want to be your account rep. That's what I do. All you have to do is put your order in, put it in your cart, click save cart, and just text me. Yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart, bro. (laughs) And uh, I will go ahead and uh, place that order. It's the same thing. Hopefully, I make it even easier. You pay nothing extra. I get a chunk of of commish and uh, live the lavish lifestyle that I do. (laughs) Uh, but no, I genuinely, genuinely want to put your order in. That's literally how I make my cheddar. So any order, big or small, we ship free over 49, all the way up to, uh, 20, $30,000 orders. I want to put all of them in. So please do let me know. My number is 862-312-2026. Uh, shameless plug number two, if you will, please do also Subscribe to American Window Cleaner Magazine. Go check it out, awcmag.com. Greatest magazine for window cleaners in the world. It's been around since 1986, and uh, it's phenomenal. You get stickers in every issue and amazing articles, posters, pictures, everything to do specifically with window cleaning. It's rad. So go get a subscription also. So now that all that's done, welcome. Welcome. Um... Yeah, today we're talking about the five tips to success, right? The big thing with small business is there are certain things that we do, because you're invested, like this isn't a nine to five. When, When you have a small business, some of you are doing side hustles, I get that. But this as a full time thing isn't a nine to five, it's never turns off. So the big thing is, is that we kind of lose sight of some of the simpler, like core fundamentals of business. And I totally understand that. Uh, I've been in business for a very long time, owned my window cleaning company for 16 years, and I'm telling you, looking at it from the outside in is such a huge difference. It is, it, it's why uh, my personal coaching thing is so popular in that side of it is because you get to have somebody who knows something come in and just look at your business every single week and it it it, it helps take your blinders off. Anyway, I, I, I absolutely think that the longer you're in business, the blinder you get. The longer you're in business, the more and more and more and more and more you're so focused on that one piece. You guys have all met that old timer. I've been cleaning windows for 30 years. Cool. Guaranteed you probably use an Ettore, like brass handle, and you probably hate water fed, and uh, some of your ladders may still be wooden, right? Like, I, 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 I can see that person in my head all the time. They're still charging like, you know, a couple bucks of pain uh, for residential. Their pricing is way off. They're slow and they don't care. It's the only way you can do it, my customers. No, it's the only way you do it. And the only way you do it is because you've done it that way forever. We talk about price increases all the time. I'm not going to talk about that. But if you're not increasing your prices every year, if you're not increasing your prices every single year, then you're just falling behind. And sometimes you find some of those old terms. I've also met guys that have been doing this for 30 years. And they're absolutely 
as as up to date on the new stuff as possible. So it's not necessarily the time, it's what you're seeing. It's what you allow yourself to see. So if you've been in business or you're starting a business, there's some certain things that really, really make sense. And they sound simple, but we lose sight of them sometimes. And the number one thing, if you want to be the biggest, best, awesomest company you could possibly be, the number one thing you can do is answer your phone. First off, before you leave and go, what? He's telling me to answer my phone. I'm talking about doing everything in your power, everything in your power to answer every single call that comes to you. Because here's the truth, is that if somebody's calling you, they want your service. If somebody's calling you, they want exactly what you do. They've made their decision, they've found your name or number, they've maybe done some research and they're calling you. If you don't answer, you're not so great that everybody will wait for you. That's okay, I'll just wait. If it's a new customer, they didn't come to you from a referral, they just found you, guess what? They're calling the next person. They're calling the next person, they're calling the next person. This is why a lot of new places get more new work than the existing places when it comes to booking. It's almost easier for them because they're so hungry they still answer every call. If you can't answer every single call, then hire somebody who can. Then get an answering service. But those cost money, they do. But here is the absolute truth, as hard as it may be. When you have repeat people calling you, they're only gonna call you so much. They want it off their plate, right? If you don't call them back in their timeline of, of quick enough, it's shown as disrespect. You're disrespecting their time. If it's a new customer and they call and they get your answer, their voicemail, even if they leave a voicemail, they're gonna call the next guy on the list because they just want it done. How many times have you called somebody back and they're like, oh, don't worry about it, we got somebody? Because they're just calling the next person. When someone calls you, that means they have it in their brain so hard they need it off their head, right? Call you, book it, done. They want to be done with it. They want to be done with it. All you have to do is give them the information they need and schedule them. When someone calls you, that's what they're looking for. The other side of this, and I can tell you, uh, this is in window cleaning sales, which is what I do now. A big piece of it is, is that people want something, it's in their head, and as soon as they cool down, they don't want it anymore. I don't know how many people ghost me. They're like, hey man, I'm looking at getting water fed. Uh, hopefully we could ship it out this week. Yeah, definitely, which we'll talk some questions, get things answered, that type of thing, start talking. They're like, okay, cool. Well, let me talk to my partner and I'll let you know. If I don't follow up with them instantly or right away, all of a sudden I don't get calls, I don't get calls, I don't get calls. They didn't get water fed. I can't tell you how many times I get calls then in the fall or in next spring and they shoot me a text like, call me, I want to talk water fed. And I see my text from the last time and it was a year since we talked water fed. If it's in your head, they're hot, right? We talk about uh, the billboards and the... the restaurants and the things, but the best time to sell a cheeseburger is when somebody's hungry, right? Strike while the iron's hot. As soon as somebody goes and eats dinner, if they leave dinner and they see a billboard for a cheeseburger, there's not, and none of those people are, none of those people did that work on. Because they don't want it anymore. They just got it. They just ate. It's the same thing when it comes to your calls, right? If somebody calls you, they don't get you. They can just leave a message, call the next one. They're just gonna call the next person. And then when you call them, they're like, no, no thanks. Well, hey, we can offer you a lower price. No, I already got one. Now we can offer you more value. There's tons more to do with us. It would be stupid for you not to hire us. Nope, I already got somebody. You're selling a cheeseburger to somebody who just ate. It doesn't matter. They can't, they just, you can't. Once it's done, it's done. Right? So answer every call. I know it's hard, but do that one step. Make it a point even for a week and you will be blown away. Blown away. And by the way, as somebody who uh, 
makes their living uh, calling window cleaning companies, right? If we talk or something, I got to call you. I would say 90% of the people I call don't answer. Now, it could be because it's me. I get that. <laughs> but if we're talking and I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I'll give you a call then or we'll talk. Like so many people aren't answering. That's not just me. That's customers. To be better than everybody around you, all you have to do is answer because most of the people aren't telling you. It's simple, but it's such a big thing. The next big thing, which I think for new customers and growth of business is absolutely the biggest thing you could possibly do, uh, not in the structure of business, but to be found, is your SEO. Now, I talk about Monk SEO all the time. You know that. that that's that's no, no here or there. They've worked for me and done a ton of work and they work for a ton of window cleaners and they do amazing SEO work. But if you don't have SEO work, and I'm not talking about like, I built my website. Have someone build your website. They do that or anybody. But have a professional build your website and have a professional SEO it, meaning ranking that. It will absolutely change your world to do that. It is not like, oh, you think I'll notice a difference? It is not, will I notice a difference? It is not, well, do you think it's worth it? It is not anything. It is so absolutely far on the other side of amazing, you will be blown away. For you people who are using an SEO company, maybe you can jump in the comments and let it know. But SEO work gets you found. It's the reason that people are number one. You know when you search window cleaning in your area in incognito mode, a bunch of people pull up after the ads? You're like, man, they must have been in business forever. I'll tell you, I was on the first page of Google after three months of starting my company. That is unheard of. Not to say that can happen everywhere. I understand that. But like those type of things do not happen organically. Not a chance in all of you know where would that happen organically. It's just not possible. Not even fathomable without having an SEO company. So what people do is they go, well, I'm so busy. I do this or ah, I'm, I'm, well, SEO company or SEO, getting SEO work done is a long-term thing. It's a long-term thing. It is not a, uh, well, I'll set up now because uh, spring is coming. Or, well, now it's spring. I'm really busy. I should not do SEO. No. SEO has to be an ongoing thing. It just has to be considered an expense that you pay like a car payment or insurance or something. It has to be. Because SEO work pays for itself a thousand times over. It is absolutely the reason that the companies who grow fast, grew fast. If you're one of the type of people who say, just do good work. You just do good work and you will have uh, a big business super fast. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. You'll have a great business. But it is not anywhere going to be as fast as you compare somebody with that or somebody who's paying to get SEO work. Right? And by the way, we're cash rich right now. If you're not looking at how to invest in your company for like the growth or long term of your company, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what to tell you. Now is the time. Now we're cash rich. Again, I, I talked about that private coaching. I have more people apply for that this time of year than I do any other time of year because they're looking to reinvest. More people start with an SEO company this time of year than any other time of year because they have the cash flow to do that. Once it becomes regular, they stick with it. It is a big, 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 big way to invest in your company. And the companies who are doing it have the SEO work. I don't know how many people who have been in business for a while, they just like, I don't I don't need to do SEO. It's word of mouth that you can do it however you want. I'm just some idiot who sits in front of a screen, right? But if you want to grow fast, it's SEO. You have to pay to get somebody to do SEO. You're not going to build a site that looks perfect or that ranks well, or that has keywords, or that, like, go go get business for your company. Don't spend your time doing something somebody else could do. For, for a couple thousand bucks, you could have a, a website you'll have for the next 10 years. 
It'll be the number one source of new business for you for that long before you it's outdated and you get a new one. It just makes no sense to do that yourself in, in my realm. And by the way, let me ask you this quick question. If you find somebody, say you want anything right now, anything. I want to build a garage. I want to have a garage built. I want to have, uh, I want um, pizza. I want whatever it is. What do you do when you're finding something that's brand new? Do you just go ask your friends right away? I mean, if you're in conversation, maybe, but no. If you're by yourself, you pull out your phone. You pull out your computer, iPad, whatever. Quick type it in. Window cleaning near me. That's what you do. That's what you do to find everything else in your life. How is it not the way that you think people are finding you? It is. It is the number one way somebody's going to find you is going to be SEO and finding your website has to rank. Best place to hide a body is on page two of Google. There you go. I'm off my high horse on SEO. SEO changed my first business immensely when I started doing that. Anyway, okay. The next thing is, and I love this one because um, I talk about this probably three times a week to different people, but it's booking your work fast. Now, how can you do your booking fast? It is phone bids. Bidding over the phone is the greatest thing that I've done to save time in my company. Not only did I book more jobs, because remember, when somebody calls you, you answered the phone the first time. You go, hey, I'm looking to get window clean. Cool, let me ask you a couple cool questions. What's your address? Let me look up your property. Look it up, blah, blah, blah. Three minutes later, that person not only has a price, you gave them the price while you're telling them the date that they're going to be booked. All that goes, okay, great, sounds good, perfect. Well, I just need that information and we're good to go. We'll see you then. That person had it in their head. It was an errand. It was a chore to get window cleaning. You just finished the chore for them. You just made it done. It's off their plate. Woof, good. The wife uh, or the, you know, I, I needed to, to get the um, windows done and I just did. We scheduled it in there. Like, as soon as they book it, it's done and off their brain. People are so worried about, well, I don't, I can't get to them this week. Well, of course you can't. That's the service, home service. Like, you, you can't live that close, right? But just booking that is super fast. You do a bid over the phone. Not only that, but it takes me three minutes to bid them, to book them, to small talk, and say, great, we'll be there. Three minutes. It's going to take you minimally minimally 30 minutes to an hour to do a bid in person. If you don't believe me, think of this. You're going to go drive to the house. If you stop what you're doing now, pack up, close the door, lock the door, get in your car, drive over, that's going to be at least 15 minutes round trip, or 15 minutes one way, 30 minutes round trip. Now you got to walk around the property, probably talk to the person, talk about their kids. Oh, who's at college? Oh, neat. Okay. It's an hour for every bid. What are you doing now? You're doing eight hours of bidding. You only get eight, eight bids done. I can do eight bids an hour. And I can do other things while I'm doing those. And if I have to schedule a bid with somebody, you're not doing it right now. They're going to call other people because you can't come out and do a bid for a day or two. I'm closing more people by doing phone bids. I'm spending way less time by not going there. I'm doing it faster. I'm getting them what they want because they want that bid price now. They don't want you to come out in a couple days. They want it now. They want to get it off their plate. And I lock the door on every other company. Because if, if they go, oh, yeah, I'm looking at it. Okay, we can do it for this. It's $3.99 for your inside and uh, outside. Um, we'll get you done on Tuesday the 22nd. It's going to be a 10 a.m. appointment. Awesome, cool that work. As soon as they hang up, they do not look, they do not call, they do not do anything else with anybody else. If they call you and they say, hey, I need a bed, you go, great, well, we can get out there this week. Uh, I will uh, go ahead and let you know as soon as I'm there. Okay, they're gonna hang up and minimally 50% of those people are gonna call the next guy. If you wanna stop all the competition, like if they already called somebody else and they said, yeah, I'll be out there this week, and then they call you, and you're like, give them the bid and book the thing. Well, it's booked. It's done. They're going to call those other people and go, hey, uh, yep, sorry, I already got it booked. I just want to let you know you don't have to stop out. 
If you're doing in-person bids, that's happened to you. Or you show up and they ghost you. Or they're like, oh, this is awkward. I don't, And they don't ever call you back and you just wasted a bunch of time doing that. So many people think they have to do the in-person bids. Well, I can't, you know, I don't want to be wrong or I can't. Yes, you can see everything from the internet. I am maybe wrong once a year. And in my spiel, I say, okay, great. Well, everything's booked. And when we get there, we'll go ahead and just double check, count the windows before we start anything. And if anything changes, we'll let you know. Very, very seldom. Maybe once or twice do I actually have to change a bid. It's usually when somebody like forgets like a whole set of the house or something. Or they describe the windows a little bit wrong, right? But you can bid everything. You can bid gutter cleaning. You can bid hearts, gates, roofs, all that stuff right over. And it speeds things up. It will change your game. When you do that, a lot of people get lost. They go, well, it's because of me that my business exists. Well, it's the personal chunch. Have you ever ordered anything off Amazon? Have you ever ordered off anything from eBay? Walmart.com? Any of that stuff? I mean, heck, you can get groceries now from online. You can order groceries and just go have somebody put it in your car. You don't even have to talk to somebody. You think people want you to be super personable, and they do, but they don't care if you talk to them in the first place. If you talk to somebody, you have to be nice. But people do not care if you, like, spend extra time or go and talk about their grandkids or, you know. People go, well, I can't upsell while I'm there. You can upsell on the phone, first off. You can upsell at the first visit. The upsell does not make it make sense for you to still drive there. Your close rate's higher. Your time wasted is lower. It just so much more sense to book them fast. If you haven't tried that yet, try it this week. Do it for a week. Internet bids and just see. Guarantee. Answer every call and do every bid over the phone. And you will be like, whoa, dude. We just we just booked like 10 grand worth of work. Do it. Another thing that people really lose sight of is keeping their customers. I touch on this one a lot, so I won't talk about it a ton this episode. But people are so worried about doing a job and then finding the new guy. We gotta, I gotta advertise, gotta get more customers, gotta advertise, gotta advertise, gotta put it out there, get word of mouth, get everybody's so worried about getting referrals, getting that SEO, getting all of those things, which you have to be worried about for the new incoming people. But they focus so much, 100 percent of their effort on getting new people that they lose sight of the most awesome asset you have. The reason I would buy a business, an existing business, why do you think? Is it because their advertising is really good? Do you think it's because they can get a lot of new people? Do you think that there's value to somebody else's business because uh, if I buy that business, I can do ads like theirs? No. The reason you buy businesses or why it makes sense is because of the customers they come with. You have customers right now in your pocket that you could be focusing on. You could be selling or getting to work uh, or do work for you more. Dentist clothes, if you haven't done that yet, look it up. It, dentist clothes is the greatest thing that I've ever talked about. It's a lot of greats in this episode, by the way. Yeah, probably top three, right? Focus on the customers you have now. One of the big things that people forget is they lose sight of the value of a customer. So let's let's say this. Last year you did $100,000, hypothetically even numbers, right? This year, in order to double, you would have to find another $100,000 worth of customers to add to who you have, right? That takes money, it takes a lot, you're doing bids, you're doing all that. Is it doable? Absolutely. But what if you did that and you doubled what those people you already did did? Without any new customers, you could double your company by just having those people do services twice a year versus one. The dentist closed. You go to the dentist every six months. They give you the appointment, no one's ever asked you. They just ask you what works better, right? Doing that... I could double a company with getting zero new customers. Now, I've never in the history of any company ever heard of somebody going an entire year without new customers. 
Is it doable? Yeah, absolutely. Even those of you who said, hey, you know what? I'm happy right where I'm at. You still lose customers and gain customers, but you're happy at that mark, right? So now think about that. If you double your company because of the people that you've now focused on that you have, and you still got that 100,000 people, you've just tripled your company. 300x or 3x, 300%. Right, you went from 100,000 at the end of the year, now you're doing 300,000. You got 100,000 in new people and you doubled the work those people were doing. Well, now you got $100,000 if you doubled those people. See where this goes? Focusing on the people you have is one part that people miss out on and I it saddens me because everybody's so focused. Read the forums, read the Facebook groups, read everything. It's all about new ads and it's not about the existing people. You're missing out on it. So definitely watch back on that. Keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on them. And the last thing that um, is super, super important that people lose sight on is looking as professional of a company as you can. So we talked about SEO and, and website work, right? If you have Monk SEO do a website for you versus you doing a website in your spare time in between cleaning windows, training, and trying to have a life. You've never done a website, so you're probably on Wix or one of those like website template builder things. You get all done and go, wow, it's finally done. It looks great. How does this look? And you show it to somebody else. Oh, if I see that website, I'm not going to buy. Like, How many times have you gone online? Remember, we go to Google. We do whatever. We do our searches. You find something. You jump on the website. And you're like... Jeez Louise, this is terrible. This company's got to be garbage. Look at their website. When you jump on a really, really good website, like, oh, dude, these guys got to be like a franchise. It's so good. Image translates to quality, to value. I'm telling you, it doesn't even have to be website. Do you have really good looking gear? Like, is all your equipment new and not broken? Do you have tape on stuff? Are you Urkel with tape on your glasses? Do your shirts look crispy and new and fresh? Or are they stained and gross and stretched out? Do your trucks look wrapped and clean? Do they look like dumpsters? Doesn't They don't have to be new. They just have to look like you care. If you care about those things and you care about your image, you will care about them. That is a perfect translation, and I don't know how many people just lose sight of that. We're like, ah, I got a website, it works. You pull it up, and you're like, what the, what is that? Or you look at their business card, and you're like, geez, Louise, man. All of those things you look at, and you're just confused, right, in some of these companies. If you lose sight of your image, you lose sight of your branding of your image. So making sure that Getting new shirts, it's like 10 bucks a shirt. Like it's cheap, right? Single color screen print, always look nice, always look new. You spend $1,000 and get every you know piece of equipment in your uh, company, traditional-wise, redone, right? Some of you take this next part with a grain of salt because I'm going to say it and I know what you guys are going to be angry about. But some of you are building your own systems and... There's no wrong thing about building your own system by any means. But some of you did it so cheap that it looks cheap. You show up and you have this just jumble of like crap and hoses and and dollies. And you show up to a job. Understand you're proud of the thing you made and the whopping $100 you saved or whatever. But what does it look like to the customers? So like, ugh. No one, you, if you pull up to a mechanic and they're like, okay, let's get your car on the lift and the lift is made of wood, right? Or it's a hand crank or it's like old and rusty. Wow, they saved money. No one looks at that and goes, wow, they saved money. Good for them. They're like, ah, geez, I'm not coming here. It's the same thing with equipment. It's the same thing with shirts. It's the same thing with wraps. Your wrap is old and faded and you got in a little bit of an accident so part of it's missing. Your image is what people translate to you don't lose sight of your image yeah anyway if you're still here i got an awesome announcement for you um with that cost printing i now have a bundle that i put together it is the window clings 
uh, door hangers for your five ups and uh, plastic gift cards all bundled together, all with a simple, simple template. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the bottom of this. Uh, actually, I don't know that there is a link to that. I'll see if there is a link, but either way, let me know. I'm gonna post something on that, super awesome. You can call at cost printing uh, or uh, hopefully it's bundled on the site. Uh, with that being said, uh, I did mention uh, my private coaching also. I don't talk about that too often, but I do have a slot open. So if you need uh, someone to go along on the journey with you, I would be more than happy to do that. Uh, let me know on that one. Uh, that slot is uh, still open since I'm recording this. Uh, just text me or call me. Uh, first come, first serve, obviously. I don't do a lot of coaching. Uh, next Obviously, I am a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. That's what I do. So please let me put your orders in. Again, shameless plug, 862-312-2026. Every order, every time, that's what I want. I want to be your guy. And of course, American Window Cleaner Magazine. Uh, get a subscription because we are always looking for more people. Uh, we are at a phenomenal number uh, of subscribers uh, since the magazine's been kind of taken over two years ago. It's changed the style, the verbiage, the look, the feel, the stickers. Everything has changed. And uh, it's because of you guys that uh, we did that. And uh, I'm just really stoked. I, I think the magazine's amazing. I think you will too. Uh, AWC mag.com get your subscription and uh yeah there you go remember don't lose sight on everything that's out there take the blinders off if you can but more importantly go out there and be epic